opportunity. I, I hope that uh, in the future uh, I'll make it on time, but uh, uh, I'm very uh, excited and grateful for the people who asked, uh, who um, uh, allowed me to speak today. Um, so uh, I, I'm speaking of what uh, what's called the, the second quantum resolution uh, revolution, which which is uh, uh, really mostly a, a revolution in quantum information science. Um, I'm not speaking as a practitioner scientist of that. Uh, I'm more of a uh, program manager. So I I look at uh, what people do or would like to do in the next in the future. And I, um, uh, so it, that gives me the opportunity to see what's emerging, you know, uh, in, in the next five, 10, 15, uh, 20 years. And so I, I thought that I would share that with you, uh, in particular, the young people. This is, would be really the world that you would be living in. Uh, so this is um, really the, the, a, a new era that we are entering uh, in, in other ways. We call it that we're at the at dawn of a new um, revolution, uh, which is a quantum revolution. It's really, truly a revolution. Uh, I have a YouTube that I have uh, um, in front of me. I will present it if, um, if we have the time. Uh, but there is an exciting uh, era uh, in front of us, uh, which is uh, focused on, on you know, the, you know, what the future industries look like. Let's see. I clicked on it, and so I, 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 I repeated. I said a little bit of what I wanted to say. Um, it, it was the first quantum revolution that we, we my generation uh, and, and, and the generation before lived through. Uh, that was um, a great revolution. That uh, was the era where um, really quantum uh, mechanics established itself as a very solid, uh, powerful theory that explained a lot of uh, things that could not be explained otherwise. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that uh, you heard of uh, you've heard of, about uh, about such systems, um, the two talks, and uh, Johannes uh, deal with uh, materials that could only be explained by quantum, quantum mechanics. Uh, quantum, the first revolution, of course, led to uh, major technology breakthrough, breakthroughs. Um, you know, the laser, of course, the most uh, uh, spread uh, transistor, uh, the GPS that we all uh, are uh, familiar with. Um, and so the quantum mechanics led really to the um, building blocks of the computer, computer uh, technology that we live in. So uh, now the second revolution is not about explaining uh, and making uh, such a the revolution where the science is about quantum control. Uh, that you can control the and manipulate uh, individual quantum systems uh, to, to do particular uh, communication uh, across you know, continents at, at uh, time scales that are unprecedented, very light distance. Uh, and um, it's really where the period is quantum mechanics lives uh, the physics uh, department and, and gets into the um, a broad uh, you know, a range of scientific fields. Uh, it's already, of course, physics, chemistry, uh, mostly are, uh, are the main beneficiaries for, of quantum mechanics for a long time, but, uh, but now it's really going to be a very common and uh, uh, knowledge and technology that we all need to learn, and you in particular, the young generation. Um, 
So um, as I said, that it, the new quantum revolution is mostly about uh, quantum information science, but it's got more to that. There are uh, in this uh, unfolding new technology, um, you know, when you look at the, the roadmap, there are short term, intermediate term, and long term uh, milestones that, uh, that people um, and, and the scientists are, and, 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 and the societies are, are looking at. Uh, of course, the, the short term is the, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the, the quantum version of making a quantum version of traditional computer with com com complicated and uh, sophisticated simulation, uh, you know, that leads even currently to new drugs and uh, high technology materials. The intermediate goal is to, to reach what's called a quantum supremacy. This is uh, the demonstration of, um, of a working uh, quantum computer that can carry out tasks that are not possible with uh, traditional or classical computers. The a few companies have already achieved the quantum uh, supremacy um, and demonstrated um, quantum computer with uh, you know, a few number of qubits. Uh, the long term, of course, is to build a much more powerful quantum computers. Uh, you know, but what to do? The quickly break the digital security that currently pro protects online banking and shopping, to do quantum encryp encryption that uh, protect uh, data from uh, cyber attack, uh, but also to do quantum number generation that would uh, strengthen uh, quantum encryption. Encryption is the science of uh, uh, protecting uh, the secrecy in the, uh, of uh, computer uh, signals and, and messages and communications. Uh, in addition to information science, of course, Quantum revolution is expected to lead to new advanced quantum sensors uh, that have sensitivity that are unprecedented and uh, that could lead to uh, sensitivity that could allow you to detect underground minerals and in, 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 in deposits uh, or, 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 or new uh, portable devices that uh, in particular the military people could use to uh, find their way in areas where GPS is not working or where it's jammed. Um, so the point is that the global race for quantum uh, computing, quantum technology is on. At NSF in the US, we have what we call the quantum leap. And uh, a couple of the talks that you heard uh, fit uh, very well in, in that. Um, in Europe, they have a different name, name for it, but all countries, in particular industrial countries, are investing and fully engaged in, uh, in this technology. Um, so uh, Google, Intel, Microsoft, IBM, all of these have, um, you know, engaged in that. Um, the point is that it, it to, and they are building a very multidisciplinary community of scientists, uh, like uh, mathematicians, computers, uh, computer scientists, computer science, scientists, quantum mechanics specialists, and engineers, all of these coming together to really uh, build these uh, future computers. So the Technology requires uh, professionals with uh, not only uh, awareness of multidiscipline, multiple disciplines, but also people to work closely with um, communities uh, that uh, usually they are not working together. Of course, the physicists and the chemists and, uh, take central stage, but and now uh, computer scientists, engineers, mathematicians, all of these need to be aware and, and, and of uh, the quantum terminologies, concepts, and be able to communicate across disciplines. 
So the uh, so the idea is that the future uh, would 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 need uh, a new kind of uh, scientists and technologists uh, taking quantum from its uh, traditional home uh, into um, uh, you know new generations of undergraduates and who are quantum savvy uh, in the U.S. The expenditure is uh, currently about you know a billion dollar or more in in this in this technology in Europe uh, in China it, there are similar activities uh, at NSF the National Science Foundation which is the agency that supports um, uh, re research across uh, the U.S. Uh, universities and colleges and has uh, a mission to train the next generation of uh, uh, technologist has uh, started working on it and much more aggressively since 2017 in particular um, and has um, been thinking about what are the new uh, education uh, curriculum uh, and uh, that that would be needed to prepare this new generation for the exciting future uh, of quantum revolution. And um, I have, um, I guess this is a link that you can uh, look at uh, if you want to read. Or there are a few of the important key concepts of, uh, the, uh, of quantum technology that uh, the future learners need to, to, to know. Uh, they're developing curriculum, as I said. Uh, I clicked inadvertently on on the present, on the, on the link. I don't think you see the link. Do you see the link? No. Okay. Don't worry about the link, but it did reset you back to, um, to my, uh, uh, okay, here it is. Um, so the key concepts are, are really, uh, is, uh, are, are listed here. I, uh, I'm not going to go in much detail, but there are nine of these that, that are uh, listed. Quantum information science, understanding quantum, what the quantum state is. Uh, I didn't intend this to be a lecture in quantum mechanics, but uh, it's a mathematical representation of uh, physical systems, uh, like uh, what's the state of the atom and uh, um, Quantum applications, quantum measurement. Measurement is a complicated process in, in, in the um, quantum, as you know, measurement inter interfere very strongly with uh, the state of the system. Uh, quantum systems are very delicate, so that interaction has to be carefully uh, dealt with. Uh, of course, the building block of uh, quantum uh, Computers would be the quantum bit, uh, generally called, you know, we call it qubit. Uh, qubits uh, are, you know, in quantum, of course, the states, uh, uh, there could be the, the superposition of, uh, of states that the system can be in, that can be in multiple states with uh, given probabilities at the same time. It's, um, so the qubit is the fundamental unit of. Uh, quantum uh, revolution or quantum computer uh, and the systems are a polarization of light. Uh, you know, the, the, the atom, the state of the atom, the spin states uh, and so on and so forth. Entanglement is an interesting concept that uh, does not exist in, in classical systems, but uh, an intuitive concept of entanglement is, of course, uh, the, um, the concept of um, uh, the, um, I, I guess, a, a typical example that's, that, that's given is that uh, uh, if you are, um, let's say, uh, you're married and, uh, and, uh, and you, uh, you, you are uh, at 
at, not with your family, but at, at distances uh, several um, hundreds of kilometers away from your family. Uh, and uh, and so although you are not together with your wife uh, and your wife uh, has a child, your state changes immediately from being uh, a, um, a father without a child, a, a husband without a child, to a father, and that that state is uh, immediately uh, uh, reflects a, a state of entanglement with your wife. You don't have to be at the same place at the same location for your status to change from. Um, you know, to, to the state of a, a new father. Uh, the challenge, of course, in quantum is coherent. I mean, the, the, the biggest opportunity is coherence, um, but the challenge is that coherence is a very weak state. Uh, many things uh, lead to perturbation of that coherence and, uh, and a decoherence is a big challenge for the technology. Um, quantum computers, of course, qubit, quantum communication, and quantum sensing. I talked a little bit about that. So, uh, as I say, the, 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 the stock is really to bring to your attention to um, uh, the importance of uh, getting into quantum is part of the uh, industry of the future. Uh, lots of opportunity open up for young people. Uh, new education curriculum are being developed across uh, the world, and NSF is involved in that. In fact, as I was preparing this, uh, these slides yesterday, uh, I, I received two articles uh, that, that just uh, are in, in, in published. Um, one is entitled Building a Quantum Engineering Undergraduate Program. Uh, it's a large group of workshop participants. One of the participants is uh, an Ethiopian guy by the name of uh, Abraham Aswa. Uh, I think we all know, know him, at least in our uh, professional encounter. Um, and, and a statement I pulled out from that, that it, it, it's, uh, this is a rapidly growing uh, information and will require both quantum aware and quantum proficient engineers at the bachelor level. Uh, so, uh, um, and, and it provides a roadmap for building a quantum engineering education program for that. The second one is uh, achieving a quantum smart workforce. Um, uh, interesting uh, quote from uh, Feynman here is that, uh, uh, I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. The, the statement in the, in the paper is that this, uh, this uh, 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 statement is uh, a, a, at this time long obsolete and in the future, it would be uh, even, even better. So um, this is uh, really the overview I wanted to give. It's not a technical talk, as I said, it's a more of a, an awareness and uh, an enrichment talk. Um, so I can go back now to, uh, if I have the time, I can show you the YouTube. Do I have the time, uh, Casa? Yes, yes, you have lots of time. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can, uh, so I have to unshare, right? I have to unshare. And then go back to my presentation. And, um, and then do a YouTube. And then share, right? Yes, that should work. You see it? Yes, but we don't hear the sound, so maybe oh, um, you can use. You terrible. have to use. First. <laughs> don't hear the sound. No. 
Ah. Uh, well, I share it, unshare it. And before you share, there are two things you have to take to optimize the video and uh, share sound. There are two things when you just click share. So unshare, so I stop sharing. And click share. When you click on screen share, before yes. select the click screen share and there should be two share sound yeah all right and optimize the video one is on the left one is on the right try it again uh, You see the image now? Yes. And I will start it again. Better? Yeah. Yes. The first quantum revolution uh, was really uh, based in the understanding of, of quantum physics. A and that led to, to uh, inventions like the transistor and the laser. So basically what forms today's information technology. Now in the second quantum revolution, uh, we can control individual quantum systems and, and we can exploit the, the properties of those in, in, a, in a new way. Of course, big words, but uh, I'm sure this will be a, a second technical revolution. You probably think it's science fiction, but it's much more science than fiction. We will see the fruits of the second quantum revolution maybe 20, 30 years from now. This very counterintuitive fact that electrons can do things, they can be in two places at the same time. There is this cartoon about an, uh, a skier when you see, an, and it's downhill from a tree, and you see two tracks from the skis, and they go on each side of the tree. And for us, that's a funny cartoon, but the electrons would not laugh. I mean, they wouldn't understand what's so funny about it. They do this all the time. The, there's four so-called pillars in, in, the, in the, the second quantum revolution where you divide things in uh, quantum computing, quantum sensing, quantum communication, and quantum simulation. Uh, so those are, are things where you can do things much better if you have this control of the quantum systems, then what you can do with, with ordinary means. Because it's so counterintuitive that you can have many, you can have these enormous amount of, of possibilities at the same time. And uh, we need to get some intuition for, and we are slowly building that, how to exploit this for, for practical problems. <laughs> We are characterizing our first generation, very small quantum computer. The goal of the project is to, to demonstrate a, a quantum computer with 100 qubits. And with such a processor, we can address some interesting problems, uh, that problems that a supercomputer could not even address. Will be an enormous contribution to industry because it's the same thing that is behind artificial intelligence and, and uh, self driving vehicles and uh, the whole internet of things. We have been building competence in, in superconducting circuits for, for many years and for the last 20 years we've also looked at quantum properties of these uh, superconducting circuits. So we have a lot of knowledge. This, this can really deliver something new. It's, it's not an incremental change, it's really a game changer. It's a really a par paradigm shift. All right. Uh, this is just to reinforce uh, what I, 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 I talked about. Um, let's see. So how do you get out of this mode? 
I'm sure. I guess I saw sharing. Okay, did I stop sharing, right? Correct. Okay. Very good. So uh, I want to get out of this uh, of this mode. I kind of got it. Thank you. And um, so um, so that was um, the, the purpose is to um, to again um, um, you know to share this that uh, this is an emerging uh, technology. Uh, they say we are at the dawn of the quantum revolution. You've seen the, this video now for now. Yeah, these monstrous, huge uh, um, things to keep uh, uh, the, the, the quantum bits to uh, the very low temperatures that required and uh, to, to operate. Uh, for now, it's, a, it's, it's a, a very technologically a very complicated and very uh, expensive process. But uh, the research in, in uh, quantum materials uh, as uh, Derek Jay and uh, Solomon talked about, uh, is uh, intended to, uh, in the future, uh, uh, develop uh, new materials that, that can support uh, this technology. After all, all, all new technologies will be based on, 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 on materials. So, so there is a lot of opportunity in that, in that direction as well. So. Uh, you can be a chemist, engineer, material scientist, uh, mathematician, computer scientist. You need to, to grow and develop your awareness in quantum uh, technology and quantum concepts. The key concepts are you know, laid out. Uh, and how do we spread that among our, our young generation in the future? It gives you opportunity abroad and, and in particular for the, for the young people. But uh, I, my own message is that uh, if you are in the sciences or even if you are technologists, keep quantum in your mind as you learn and grow into your education. Thank you. So it's... Thank you very much. All right, Doctor. I'm open for a question if... Uh, I see chats, so. I have one question. Um, right. um, so what must developing countries like Ethiopia do so that there will be um, active players in the new economy that's gonna be based on the second quantum revolution? So that how do we make sure we don't get left behind? It's true that uh, the the last the last revolution happened right to us. It was uh, to Africa. We didn't. We were not partakers. In it. We, uh, we we of course we were consuming now, but um, we didn't have. Uh, but this is really early in the game. So the the idea is that you know we have some bright people out in, in the game already, as as I say. Uh, one uh, one uh, Ethiopian uh, gentleman is among uh, the leading, uh, you know, experts that uh, agencies like uh, NSF and, and the world rely on. So the, the idea that if we start early, if we are uh, people, uh, young people, we train them in a way that they can go out and 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 be leaders. Uh, in the field uh, in, in, in the next decade, right? So it's um, then uh, the opportunity to, uh, you know, to do in a bigger way what you and, and all of you guys are doing, that is transfer of, uh, of uh, knowledge and technology to, to, to Africa and Ethiopia would be uh, one way. It's a pretty expensive endeavor. Uh, it's uh, at this time, but uh, you know, it, it, new materials, uh, getting involved in, in material science, developing the skills, uh, getting on the soft side of this, 
the south side on quite quite a uh, information science and I talked about mostly about the hardware but uh, given the, uh, how the world is connected uh, the soft aspect uh, quantum information science quantum computing and uh, it's it's could be could be uh, available so at this point we're looking for other uh, you know people who who go and shine and do the uh, lead. And then what will happen in the future is that what our young people would do. Um, so to have a, a roadmap for, 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 for them would be important. That's what I think. Thank you. Thank you. More? If you have any questions from the students, uh, feel free to unmute yourself or send us a message on the chat. Okay, I can. Um, while we wait for further questions, I have one more question. Maybe this is more a discussion that, uh, than a question and maybe more targeted to uh, uh, lecturers and faculty in Ethiopia uh, from EPS. Uh, is there a quantum information technology program uh, or a concentration or uh, or if, if, if not currently, are there plans to have a program uh, either on the, at the undergraduate or master's level uh, in that direction so that you know of? So I, I I do not know about uh, just to, to 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 contribute. I do not know about uh, the uh, the programs per se, but I do know that we are not the first to to talk about the uh, new quantum uh, revolution, quantum information science uh, in Africa, and that uh, so it it it's not completely outlandish to talk about it now, because it's about the future uh, and, um, and the young people. Uh, but there, are, there have been uh, workshops and conferences on quantum uh, information science, quantum technology uh, on the African continents. And so uh, we need to catch up, we need to be aware of, we need to bring the knowledge and the curiosity to the, to the young people. And uh, so it's it's not it's not too early, and we are not the first ones. That's all. That's all. And so, even if uh, the universities have not that now, uh, I I I hope uh, you know. Just looking at at, at the two talks uh, before us, right uh, before before this, at least the one on the list. I don't know what you. Improvise to fill in for me being late with looking at the, <laughs> um, uh, just looking at that, I, I can see, you, you can see that it's inevitable. You, you, it, it, it's a, we have to jump in, we have to get in the game and uh, we have people and we have to slowly build up that. that. If I did not run the marathon some I don't know how many years ago when, when I was a little kid, we would not have had all these uh, bright uh, champions. And, and so, uh, and if uh, not just Abel Vikila, but if some people didn't decide that, that is uh, an area of excellence for Ethiopia uh, to, to, to build, we would not have had this uh, generation, a craft generation of uh, world, world champions, right? And, and so, that's what we need to do. We need, we need to get in the game. We need to, to train these young people. They need to go out and, uh, and tech, uh, get in the game and, and be leaders in the field. And then the benefit will be, you know, we'll see. Others may, may want to add it. 
I think a, a perspective from Ethiopia, as you say, would be interesting. All right. We, we, we are waking up and they are getting tired. <laughs> I hope this uh, this is not too uh, out of the um, uh, you know outside the, the perspective. I think it's an as I said an enrichment talk. In the future, we can give <laughs> more, more technical presentations. But I would like to know um, how the, the the students and the audience feel feels about these things. Yes, in the um, next five minutes, I welcome anyone to give us feedback. We will be taking a break, a lunch break for those who are in Ethiopia. Um, and then we'll be resuming our next session. But until then, we would love to hear feedback from you or continue this discussion. Um, so please, go ahead. OK. Lunch break. Are there no more? Uh, are there no comments or questions from Ethiopia? <laughs>